I don't know if this is copyrighted or not, but hello everybody. Welcome to Dirt 5. Uh, I was thinking about downloading this for a while. I knew it was going to come to Game Pass eventually, and it just recently did. Oh boy, user agreements. That's fun. Say what? I guess. Oh, nickname, huh? Donut. Oh, demon, of course. Select number 43. I have no idea what's going on right now. Welcome back to the Dirt Podcast by Donut Media. I am your host, James Pumphrey, and I'm with the one and only Nolan Sykes. Say hi, Nolan. Hi, Nolan. You're a terrible man, and this is everything that's coming up on the full Donut Podcast. We're talking disciplines, ice racing, land rush, sprint, extreme technical off-road. We are deep diving different types of driving. We're going to be talking superstars. We got opinions on AJ. Can the most decorated, most entertaining driver in in the Dirt Off-Road Series, keep this main event win streak going forever? We're talking challengers. We got something to say about Bruno Durand, the man that can do two and now four wheels. He's lit a fire under this series and seems unstoppable right now. Is he really set to dominate this year? But first, we are talking rookies. We're going to want to be up to speed <laughs> with the pick of the current crop because they might one day make the leap to the Dirt Off-Road Series and you'll want to be there for the very start so let's go complete the dirt pop tutorial to receive and accept game invites oh hey can i change my license plate probably not oh this is this is smooth crash into that hey oh yeah I have no idea what's going on all I know is that I'm here and I'm apparently racing drift plus paint trade Am I supposed to do that? I just assume that's bonus stuff and I just gotta win this race. That's what I'm kind of just guessing out of it. This game is really loud in my ears right now. Might not be to you guys, but I'm just like, oh, oh boy. It is just really loud. Let's say we're still only on the first lap. They're not too far behind me either. I better kick it in the gear so I can stay in first. Go, go, go. Ow. Oof. I gotta figure out how to how to drift and whatnot. That's a possibility. I'm sure eventually it'll show me, hopefully. Hopefully. Man, I rendered like so many videos today. I'm sure nobody cares, but I'm just like, oh my goodness. Like I woke up, I just sat in my chair and I just started editing and I'm like, oh God. I have like 50 something videos that are just sitting in draft on YouTube and I'm like, uh, oh, I gotta find schedules for all these. Whee! Oh, wasn't paying attention. I looked up, I seen the first thing, I looked back down, I'm about to smack a wall. I mean, am I technically drifting there? I have no idea. I save time there I mean it shows green so I guess I'm not like super falling behind or anything yeah, I've been looking forward to playing this game for a bit kind of excited I'm just like I didn't know if this would be a YouTube thing or just play by myself thing but at this point of my goal of trying to at least make one video every day of the year or trying to I'm just like oh yeah let me uh let me film everything 
Man, my car is messed up. There I am. Dirt dollars. Huh. Okay, career online, playgrounds, arcade, garage, and profile. Goodbye, music. What the hell is energy? Well, apparently it's in the store. We're just gonna do career. If you're listening to this message, then uh, congratulations. Not only did you enter your details correctly, but you also impressed me. Impressed me enough that I'm going to invite you to the AJ Racing Academy. Now, as you may have guessed, it's been set up by yours truly, and my one and only goal is to push you out there a bit more. I'm going to throw you in the deep end and see if you can swim. I make Team AJ a dominant force in the world of extreme motorsports, so you know, no pressure. But that's you all signed up. Welcome to the club. Hmm. Now, listen, I know you oh. just want to get out there and wreck some tires, but just... Hold up a minute. I've curated a whole bunch of events you might be interested in, and I've given you, yes, you, the luxury of choice. No need to thank me. See what takes your fancy and just jump right in. If you find a style you really connect with, then by all means, stick with it. But you can always mix it up with something a bit different. Hey, you never know where you might make a name for yourself. And this is all about making a name for yourself, right? Yes. Yes, I am right. <laughs> wow. All right, completing an event will unlock connected events. Selecting event lets you review the details and go to the track. Okay, so I'm spending a reposition. The events, throwdowns, sponsors, podcast. Oh boy. Well, can't look any more forward than this. Oh, let's see. Let's see. Did I do this one? I have no idea. Ooh. Can I can I customize my car? Garage. Oh, that's dope. What happens when you combine street racing and off-road terrain? Off-street road terrain racing. No. Huh. You get Ultracross, a high-speed discipline on custom-made tracks designed for fast cars and even faster drivers. What does that even mean? The person is going faster than the car? Can I get back to explaining this, or do we have to talk physics? All right, carry on. These events emphasize pack racing with wide turns and S-bends to test your cornering, long straights to get your speed up, and crossovers so you can see just how far ahead you are. That it? I guess so. About to do is gonna be like that it. Well, then I Get ready, ready, ready. Oh boy, here we go. Smart girl, huh? Yeah. You guys are very funny. Oh. He be ninth after one lap. Oh, it might like. I'm supposed to get in ninth place after a lap or let them all beat me on the first lap so I could be ninth or whatever. And then win after that. I have no idea. I 
I'm a bit confused. Okay, that switches view. That does the same thing. So is B technically my drift? Or, uh, I guess I did do that, I don't know. That is confusing. See, I, I'm pretty sure I did this race already. Oh man, my car is all sorts of messed up. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I've done that race before, so nothing too big. All right, let's carry on. Let's see. 60s, overtake drifting, being within the match. I'll try it. Why not? Well, I like blue, so. I hope you got some sick coilovers because this land rush is gonna wreck your day. Ah, James, I gotta go. I left my sick coilovers at home. Nolan, you're gonna need them. With rough circuits filled with tight turns and technical straights, small jumps that jostle you around, and a couple of big old boys to really test your suspension. Dirt or snow, anything goes. Buckle up, Cupcake. This is land rush. Thanks, Buttercup. Weren't you supposed to be gone already? <laughs> Two, one, go. Oh, man. We are huge. Well, the 60 mile per hour one wasn't so bad. Oh, damn. Slide, boy, slide. Yeah, I'm sure this is going to get more difficult as it goes, but this does not seem like it's too bad right now. It is pretty easy. Oh, that is a nice slide right there. So it's supposed to be drift plus overtake. I'm pretty sure B is the drift button in this game. Come on. Beautiful. Oh, oh. I was about to say, there goes my door if it hasn't already. But it still hasn't. Oh, boy. They're catching up to me slowly. Go, go. Now 
Okay, I think I think we're safe. There's no way they're catching up with us for the rest of this race. It'd be damn near impossible for them to win. Like unless I had a horrific crash, which I don't think is happening. That wasn't my horrific crash moment, I swear. And there we go. That was bad. It's like, I don't care about first, second, third, whatever. Oh, I got little medals on them. Speaking of the current crop of racers, did you remember the name of that rookie that you were telling me about the other day? Demon? Yeah, that's the one. Okay, kind of funky name. Gonna be honest, a little jealous. Hey now, man. James is a great, strong name. I really appreciate that, bud. Thank you. Did you know that it's a popular boy's name? It means supplanter or one who follows. You know, in the 17th century Scotland. Are you reading off the internet? I would I would never. Nolan, I can see your phone. Put it away. You're just reading off the internet. <sighs> okay. Uh, you're an amazing wealth of information, Nolan. I'm sure people tuned into this to listen to name meanings. Let's talk about cars and racing. No. Yeah, let's get into it. Valley Raid is a start-to-finish, point-to-point race through beautiful natural landscapes. Which you won't have any time to admire because you'll be inches away from wiping out in a hedge somewhere. Lots of speed, lots of jumps, tight corners, and split routes to help break up the pack. Rally Raid is as dirt as it gets. Ooh, buddy. I mean, knowing me, I'm probably just going to do, like, every single race that I can. Oh, here we go. in position one for 10 seconds easy the, one of the easiest goals I've ever done this is pretty though hey it's not the prettiest game but still nice looking here comes the tunnel There we go. Oh, I was thinking staying on the road. Almost ran into a barrier full of people. GG. Yeah, because I think my console right now is just focusing on the frame rate rather than anything else. Because I'm playing on a Series S, not an X. The X's are impossible to find. It's like they don't exist or something. Mm. Oh, buddy. Man, my car's all sorts of dirty right now. I must set the next checkpoint, though, so, you know, that's fun. Take this way, because we're already pointing this way. Man, I am just absolutely dominating. Long jump. Ooh. Oh, yeah. 73. 75% done with the race. 
And here comes the mud. So close, we're almost at the top of the mountain. Where are the rest of the racers? Oh, they're they're a good bit back. Man, I bet I'd get wrecked online in this game. 